Hi, welcome to RestoShort Tutorials. In this tutorial, we are going to see that how we can build up a JSON using the JSON array and JSON object. So first thing that you have to do is go to the pom.xml and add these dependencies. I'll tell you what the, these dependencies are. First one is for the RestoShort that you must already have uh, in your pom. And other one is this faster xml.jackson. Okay, I'll tell you it's used later. So first let's add it. So all I have to do is go to the pom.xml and paste it right here. Save the file and the effective pom will start loading. Okay, so now if I'll check in the Maven dependencies, I should see the Jackson data bind jar present here. Okay, right. So now let's create our class in which I will build up the JSON for the post request using the JSON object. So here's my class. So I'll name it as JSON using JSON object class. Okay, so here I have it. Now, the first thing that I will do is, you know, create a method. So let's say this is my method make it a test by providing it an annotation here it is and now first i'll provide the base url and then the base path okay now it's a test ng base test so first i will provide the base path and the base url same old drill what we were doing earlier so here it is it's it's not really mandatory to you know define port uh, you can define it with the URI also. So here it is. Right. So I added the dependency to the POM. I've ready with my class, got the URLs. Now, before building up the request, let's build up that JSON using the JSON object. So the first thing is that, you know, if, if uh, you remember, you know, how the JSON looks like. So first, uh, in order to check it, I have to start the student application. Uh, if you still don't have the student application, you can download it from the description box below. Okay, so this is how we start the student application as it's a jar. So just put define this command Java jar, name of the jar file with its extension. So if you see the screen, that means the application is started. Okay, so in order to check it, um, I'll just, you know, fire up some requests that I built up earlier. So I'll build up a get student request from here. I should see the list of all the students. This is how the student API works. Okay. So uh, you see, this is the one part of the JSON, right? Which holds up a student information. This, this is the same thing that I want to replicate, but I want to create it using the JSON object. Okay. So first let's uh, look at it this JSON and try to understand you know what we have to build okay so this is the JSON so the first thing that I'm seeing here you know these key and value pairs all these are the JSON objects and within the square bracket what what we are seeing is the list or basically you can say it, it's an JSON array so it's a JSON object and this is a JSON array okay so now uh, if we have understanding of you know this key and value pair we can easily build up the this json using the json object okay so the first thing that i have to do is i have to create a json object okay so here it is uh, the dependency that i added is is for this okay to get this json object So in order to get this JSON object, we added that dependency earlier. Okay. So now I can import it, this JSON object class from the org.json. Okay. Uh, let's say I'll name the object as opj, initialize it with the new and write the name of the class. Okay. So the JSON object is ready. Now I can start adding my values to it. Okay, to add those values, I'll use the method called put. So put basically accepts two values in it. You know, first can be your key and the second value will be your value. So suppose, you know, 
this is the information this is the json that i want to build so the first key uh, we don't have to provide the id the student api provides the id you know automatically when you'll add a new student it it gets the you know the next available id itself we don't provide id within the post request okay so this is the part that we have to build so the first thing that i have to you know pass in the key as a key is the first value so as it's a string value put it in the quotes same goes for the value that you want to pass with it so uh let's say the value the first name is uh one okay put it in the quotes as it's a string value same goes for the next value obj dot put your next key which is last name okay and it's value so uh let's say values thomas right in the same way i can add other uh, other key and value pairs too which are email program and courses courses puzzle pass part is little tricky we'll uh, discuss it later let's add these two key first so the next one is the email okay one for the email and one for the program so i'll change this uh, and be very careful about you know uh, the case in which this uh, json is present like if this key values are in lower case should be lower case when you are adding it okay otherwise the schema uh, won't accept this json so be very careful about you know these names okay let's say some random email i'm providing and the last key is program and the value put the name of the program so let's say the name of the program is mechanical engineering okay anything right so till now you know this part we are done with this part of json okay using the json object now in the next part i have a key called courses and in the value i don't have a string this time this time i have a list okay and like i told you earlier we can build this list using the java uh, using the json array okay so first let's build up this list then we'll add it to the json object okay so to create this list i'll use the json array again you know it will be imported from that uh, json.org class the dependency that we have added okay so i'll name the object as let's say list initialized with the new json array as simple as that okay so i'll import it from the org.json again and in this list i'll simply use the method called add to add all those subjects okay either i can use add or i can use put okay so let's add the list of courses so let's say the first course is uh, i'll just get it from it machine element design okay so any any random value we're just you know trying to add a new student so uh, let's say i'll add three values to this list uh, let it be two and three right now the crucial part uh, in the key called courses i have to add this list so how i'll do that again i'll use the json object within that uh, call the method put in the key write courses again you know be very careful about you know putting uh, these keys okay i'm emphasizing on because the schema validation will fail and eventually uh, on the console you won't see the error so it's really hard to debug in that case so be careful about it like it's a very small json but uh, in the cases where where we have you know uh, much more data than this you know it will be really hard to you know uh, debug that so that's why i'm saying be very careful when you're putting these keys so uh, in the value i have to pass this list so here is my list object and a semicolon and we are done okay so first i created the json object i added all these key and value pairs all of these were strings so there was no issue but one of the key called courses has a list in its value okay so to uh, create it i use a json array to form that list and later on i pass the, that as a value to the courses okay now simply i'll pass this json object to my 
rest assured post request okay so now let's again build up the request so initialize with the given and in order to use this given you have to make a static import like earlier we were doing so all i have to do is you know with this import right in front of it static as we are importing a static method from a predefined library rest assured and the method is called given right so now i can use the given set the content type that, that the content that we are sending is the json again a request specification class method so i'll set the content type to json as simple as that right so next i'll simply you know pass this json object in the body so i can log also so i want to log the body so i'll write log dot body so i can see the body on the console okay the request that i built up i can see that right after it body and then again you know this next body is for passing the json object okay this is this is a separate method log dot body it can be log dot all okay i'll do the log dot all so there won't be any confusion so basically i'm telling in my request that i want to log everything headers parameters body okay and right after it i'm passing a body consist that consists this json object so obj and then i'll call the post method i'll fire up the post request okay so this request will return us a response class object so i'll let's store it inside the response class object uh, let's say it's our esp imported from the again rest assured libraries and i'll simply print this response so i'll call the method called pretty print and let's fire up this request and see if the json is built in this format or not okay this is the format okay so right so i'm getting an error that no serializer found we get this error you know when the data bind dependencies are not added to our project so let's check it out one more time okay so data bind dependency may not be added so i'll just one more time you know save the file go to the effective form check the maven dependencies yes they are here now okay some were missing all, all of those are added now so i'll go back to my class uh, which is here okay and i'll do one thing that with this object i'll call this method called to string okay so basically you know all the object values will be converted to the string so now if i'll run this request okay so the test is passed in the response i'm getting the new student is added and i can actually see the json that i have built up using the json object and the array okay do not get confused with the order you know uh, it doesn't matter in which order uh, things show up the only thing that matters is you know all the keys should be present okay like if one of the keys missing the validation the schema validation got failed and we uh, the test didn't pass okay so all the keys are present this is the list of courses these are all keys and value pair built up using the json object okay so uh, in the same way like we have built up this request using the json object there are multiple ways of doing it we can uh, do it you know using the java collections which we'll see in the coming up tutorials and there are uh, the most efficient way of doing this is using the object oriented concept or converting it into pojo converting your json to pojo okay so uh, be uh, subscribe to the channel for the more videos like this in the coming up videos i'm going to show you you know how you can build up using the collections as well as pojo Thank you.